Greetings and salutations everyone, I am as always Darth Devious, bring you another video review, and welcome back to... Alternity August! That's right, um, showing off the other three Alternity molds that uh, I currently own. Um, we went through Bumblebee the last time, last year we did Starscream. So all left is uh, Optimus and Megatron, so we're going to go with Optimus this time. I think I'll get the Autobots out of the way. And uh, we'll take a look at him in his Nissan GTR mode and his, uh, you know, robot mode. Convoy, as everyone knows. Optimus in Japan is Convoy. So I'll be right back and we'll take a good look at Optimus. Alright, now we're going to begin our closer look at the Alternity Optimus. And again, we'll look at his box, just like we did Bumblebee's. You can see his nice artwork on there. Nissan GTR. And these boxes are nice. Um, I, I've kept them all because they're real good for displaying the figure. Uh, it's a clamshell package on the inside of this outer package. And it's really nice for keeping them, you know, from getting dusty or getting scratched or anything else, you know. And I've had to Optimus out for a little bit and, you know... Cybertron. More stuff that I can't read. But you see, he gets blue into him when he's in robot mode. And he has built-in weapons in robot mode, which I'll show off. And just like Bumblebee, you know, the hood opens up, the doors open up, stuff like that. More stuff I can't read. Yeah. Alright, get that out of here. And Optimus, in car mode, in robot mode, he's a lot heavier than Bumblebee was. A lot heavier. And I showed off Bumblebee in car mode with him to give you a size scale you saw then. If, if you didn't watch that video, go back and watch that. You'll see how much bigger Optimus is compared to Bumblebee's Suzuki mode. On the underside here you see there's a little bit of stuff, not much. His, pretty much this entire spinal section here that goes right here is die cast. And that's where he gets a lot of his weight. He's got a lot of weight there. And there's parts inside the engine compartment that are die cast. I'll flip that up real quick. If I can get my damn finger in there. All right. And yeah, the back of the engine block is his head. So when you open that up, it has a tendency to pop up. There you go. Yeah. This is another really nice on vehicle mode. You see there, there's a logo inside there. Again, the headlights are done nicely. More rubber tires. The intakes are done. Door handles are done. The rear view mirrors are actually slightly reflective. Slightly. The Nissan logo on the back, even though it's not too clear. Nice red tail lights. I love the tail lights on this. this exhaust ports. The doors open. And again, the steering wheel on the inside. Because this is a Japanese car, it's on that side of the, it's on the left side of the car, not the right. Or the right I'm sorry, the right side of the car, not the left. <laughs> Worst reviewer ever, you know. And speaking of detail, look inside there. You can actually see the brake disc and the calipers. And the calipers are done in a different color. It's a nice touch. So, yeah. So, these are really cool. I really like this. Um, if you want to see, Optimus is actually slightly bigger than Megatron. Let's bring in Megatron real quick. Um, Megatron, you see, is shorter in car mode, but that's because the Nissan Fairlady is shorter in car mode and stuff like that and just for ha ha's we'll bring in Starscream and show off Starscream's about the same size he's a lot flatter and he doesn't weigh anywhere near as much as Optimus does Optimus and Megatron weigh very similar um, and their transformations are similar because they're both Nissans even though they're different Nissans yeah so there we go get Starscream out of the way 
So let me put him into his robot mode and take a closer look at him. Be right back. Alrighty, and here we have Optimus in his robot mode. And he's pretty cool, but because of all the die cast and the way it collapses into his spine, he does have a tendency to be back heavy. Um, his feet are a little weird, so he does have these for hail spurs, his back, back part of the car. It works to a point, but if things aren't tabbed in exactly the way they're supposed to be, and you don't get these feet planted nicely, and you almost have to kind of lean them forward a little bit, because if you see here, all this back here is die cast. It's, it's a couple different die cast pieces that fold up, and yeah, it kind of, it really makes him back heavy. But still, he is really cool. We'll zoom in real quick on his face. And it's not your typical Optimus face, but it's still Optimus. You can still tell by looking at it. Um, come on, you cooperate. He does have... Focus! There we go. He does have light piping, as you can see. It's not too, too bad. Head is on a ball joint of sorts. It's very stiff. It's not like Bumblebee's. His, his is very stiff. Um, in his waist, he has a really nice little Autobot symbol with the yellow details painted in there. So that's pretty cool. You see, he got some blue in his legs and blue in his hands, and his head's blue. So it's not wasn't just all red like the car. Um, articulation, as I said, heads on a ball joint. Shoulders do a 360. The door kibble and stuff kind of gets in the way, but what can you do? He's got the swivel there at the elbow. He's got the elbow joint. Again, his wrists do swivel, just like bumblebees. And you see, he's got weapons here on both sides. Now these were the seats of the car and these were actually in the back of the seats of the car. You can leave them flipped up or you can flip them out. I like having them flipped out for robot mode so he's got his weapons handy for fighting. And you see the front end of the car actually all collapsed together to make his chest a little bit narrower. Down here he's got ratchets He's got the swivel above his knee. He's got a ratcheted knee. He's got a little bit of movement in his foot, but with the way the foot locks in and stuff, you kind of want to be careful. Yeah, These aren't for kids. You, you don't want to give these alternative figures to kids. They're just not made for them. He's not too, too shabby if you think about it. Look at him. He's kind of cool. He's not as cool as Megatron. Megatron's, uh, I think, a little bit cooler. And it's a little bit more stable, even though he too has the, the back heaviness problem, but not not that much. We'll bring in Bumblebee real quick. As you can see, Bumblebee's shorter. Even though Bumblebee's wider, he is shorter. Not by much. But still, they are kind of cool. And we'll bring in Waspinator again. So you can see how he compares to a Deluxe. He's bigger than a Deluxe. Not quite as big as a Voyager. I think Rhinox might be a little tiny bit bigger. But still. They are cool. These alternative guys. They are cool. So, there you go. This has been my look at Optimus Prime from the alternative line. Our second of three videos for Alternity August. If you're going to get Optimus Prime, I, I suggest trying to track down this red version. It's really the closest you're going to get to the actual Optimus Prime figure in this line. Um, I know there's a black version, there's other versions. This one is, is the one I wanted. So if you can get it, I think I got this a couple years ago at TF Source on sale during Christmas time can't remember you're talking uh, quite a number of years now so there you go okay he doesn't want to stand right now 
Optimus is drunk, so we're gonna go home. Go home, Optimus, you're drunk. Dave Mintz, this is for you, bud. It's a drunk Optimus to go with you. You need to get yourself a drunk Optimus to go with your videos. Dave's a good guy. Subscribe to SMS number one, guys. I'll leave his link below. He's trying to get to a thousand subscribers. It's it's time he gets some love. Dave does good stuff. Alright. You all be good. Or I'll send Drunk Optimus after you. And God knows what Drunk Optimus will do. We know what Murder Prime can do. What could Drunk Optimus do? Later.